Plastic Model Builders, welcome back. What we did in our last video series was the F4C Phantom by Ravel. It was a 148 scale. We hope you enjoyed that. Well, what we're going to do now is another Ravel model, of course. This is the F102A Delta Dagger. This is it right here. Front of the box, very lovely. I'm looking forward to doing this model. Never really seen this plane in action, let alone flying, so you know this is going to be a new experience. So let's see what this plane and this box has to say. This is a skill level three. We're doing a little bit of reading because right here, as it tells you, hey, 12 and up on the back. Skill levels one through three, it says number three, over 12. So 10 to 12 years old, that pretty much tells you. Here we go, a little bit about the plane, not going to waste your time. Of course, we've got all the paint colors right here. Again, not going to waste your time, but I could if you want me to. I'll let you decide. Just give me some comments and we'll see what happens. It's a nice view of the plane right here from the side. So right here, you know you got the whole plane, the canopies, the underside right here. Good stuff. And of course, another shot of the side. So hey, side, side and stuff. So I guess the only thing to do now is to open this and we're going to see what's inside, shall we? So here is the first part of this box break. You know, fun stuff, always opening the box. Sometimes it's like the biggest challenge because it just never wants to pop open because they're always tighter than what you want them to be. Don't know why, they just are. There we go, get that off. Stick that in here, if it will even fit, which it should because you know it came out, but some of these things are always just a challenge, aren't they? So there we go, all right. So what we have here, this is the package. The parts look like they're actually in an off kind of whitish gray color. Kind of nice, probably won't matter for us. We've got some folded instructions right there, 102. A Delta Dagger, Get that off to the side, and of course, we have our decals. So, only thing to do now is to open up the plastic and see what's inside. Got one big bag, got some tape, you know, got to get that off. That's kind of nice the way they did this. Just cut that, makes it a little bit easier. Got two pieces there, one more right there. So we will take these out. First thing I noticed right here, I guess this was made in Poland. How often does that happen? Never seen Poland before, so there's a first for everything. So we'll be careful. This fell out of the bag right here. These are our clear plastic parts. Let's open these real quickly so we can just get these out of the way and stick them back into the bag. Be careful that you don't cut yourself on your knife because I'm kind of prone to cutting myself and you know that's never good. I like how they did this. It makes it a little bit easier to get things out. It even tells you on the bag right here that this is made in Poland. Perhaps that's why it's just so difficult for these to come out. You would think they would just come out by shaking them but no, it takes forever. That was just very interesting. So, looks like right here we've got some uh, little landing lights and of course our front glass and our canopy. Stick those back in. Fairly simple. Fold them up. Don't get anal retentive about it. We are not Gene the anal retentive chef, carpenter, whatever else Gene was. If you know what I'm talking about, good for you. So our first little tree here, be careful because it looks like some of this is caught up under some of the parts. So this clearly looks like this is the underside of the plane. This comes with some, what looks like a style of a Phoenix missile. And of course the intakes right here in our little pilot. And of course the control sticks, very interesting looking. Careful with this. 
these are clearly the cockpit area right over here. The inside, this is obviously for the wheels and these bay doors, which you see right here. Got some drop tanks over here. We'll flip this, give you a better view of this. You have your seat right here. And these are for the doors. These are retracted missile rails that you see right here on the side. Everything else, you know, just be real careful for these parts. A lot of fun stuff right here. We've got this piece right here. That came off fairly easy, so maybe it was just kind of broken off of this. Who knows? This is clearly the bottom of this aircraft. And, you know, we've got this right here. And this, of course, right here, that's if you want to make this so the missile bays are closed. You know, whatever you want to do. All up to you. You got our nose cone. Right here, you know, more for the canopy, stuff like that. So clearly the canopy glass that we showed you earlier is going to fit right into that. A lot of missile rails, you know. Like I said, good stuff. And last but not least, right here, main fuselage. Fairly decent long plane, so be careful. We've got these pieces right here. Let's take a look at the instructions, shall we? So, here are the instructions. If you want to learn a little bit about the plane, just read this. It's going to tell you all about the F-102A Delta Dagger. Seems kind of easy, right? Let's turn the page. Page two, we have our paints. Starting with A, chromate green. Imagine that, very popular color back in the day. Not so much anymore. B is a flat black. C, flesh colored, probably for the pilot. We have two grays. D and F, so you know you got to figure out which grays those are. Also has two greens, probably a light and a dark, you know, to camouflage this plane. Color I is silver. J is tan, another FS color. K is titanium. You know that probably goes for the engines as it always does. And L is white. This is all on page two. Of course, you know it tells you how to apply the decals and gives you all the symbols at the bottom, like every model. Page three has all the parts. Starting with one, going all the way to 37. Page four has even more parts, imagine that! And they go from 38 to 88. Lots of parts, 88 parts. We've done models that have more though, haven't we? So, page five, right here. Step one, what does that entail? Right off of the bat, that talks about putting the engines together and the fuselage half. Sounds kind of strange, because usually you do the cockpit. Ironically, step one doesn't have the cockpit first. That is a first for a model that I've ever done, so that's something to look forward to, isn't it? Page six has step two, basically assembling the cockpit, and you have to scoot that all the way up through the bottom and into the plane. That's also a first, never seen it done quite like that, so we're gonna review that and see how well that works, because hey, this plane seems like it's a first for a lot of stuff. Page seven is step three. What that includes is putting in the intake, the air duct that goes inside of the plane, along with putting in some of the other stuff for the wheels and the bay doors. That's if you want this plane to have open bay doors, I imagine. And of course, putting the lower wing halves together and then putting those onto the fuselage. So that right there is step three. On page eight, we have step four. Step four is mainly putting the side panels for the intakes on and doing the front landing gear. So you get that out of the way, get that painted, make that look pretty. Page nine has step five. And step five is basically doing everything with the rear landing gear, the doors, all that stuff, putting on the air brakes that go on the back of the plane, and the tail hook, of course. Well, page 10 is step six. And this gives us a couple of options. That's whether or not you want the bay doors open or closed, and basically what kind of armament you want to start putting onto this aircraft. Of course though, it does have this drop tank right here, which is, that's not optional. You gotta put that on, so may as well put that on, right? Page 11 is step seven, and what step seven has is putting on all the missile rails and all of the missiles for this plane. They look like kind of like they're like a version of a Phoenix missile. I don't know what they are. I'm sure the instructions tell you, but I'm too lazy to go look at that, so just look yourself and get it figured out. Page 12 is step eight, pretty simple putting on the front glass window, your pilot, more canopies and more canopies, and of course, finishing off the plane. Step 13 is page nine. 
This tells you how to paint the model in one particular version. Page 11 has step 10, which also tells you how to paint the model in the same version that was on the previous page. Page 15 has step 11, which is a camouflage scheme. Page 16 has step 12, which is the other part of that camouflage scheme. So as you know, the camouflage screen scheme is green, and the other is a gray color. So you know you can get that out of the way. Last, we've got our decals right here, and they got 79 of them, quite a bit, so you know you're gonna spend some time doing these. Get these in. By the way, this model does have raised panel lines in it. You know how that goes. You know, the next episode, here's a quick little preview. I'm gonna be taking out the parts or to wash it. Here we go, assembling the cockpit. As you know, we have to do that and put that fuselage half together and some more good stuff. As always, don't forget to subscribe. That way you get the video in two weeks. Give us some comments and some likes. Until next time, see ya!